Thanks for staying with us all morning long. We have been celebrating the amazing career of one of our colleagues, photographer Brian Lucas. And Brian is here with our news director, Keith Esperos. And uh, uh, it's been a long time for, for, for uh, all of us in this business. Well, you... you <laughs> kind of, I mean, <laughs> nothing compared to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm the best. Uh, and, and we've been talking about some of the things because the, 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 the benefit of being a, a photographer like what you've done You've seen the world. Well, and, and not only and history exactly, and not only do I see the world, but I also look into people's eyes when they're telling me their story, and I find that fascinating. When you can look beyond the story and look into their eyes, mm -hmm. can you look into Keith's eyes right now? <laughs> I sure can. <laughs> That's why I wear the glasses. And I, think, and I think I hear rays for everybody. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Well, well, you know when you, get, when you get old, your hearing goes. <laughs> But, 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 you know, that's the key is that not only when you're interviewing people, you can see the emotions within yeah. their face. And I think that's fascinating as a photographer, you know, when you can actually listen and then see. And, and they don't become just stories, they become people to you then. Exactly. I mean, every, every big story has a small story in there. Every person. Uh, I go back to Steve Gleason, Devin Walker, a football player, Michael Daugherty people who were in wheelchairs, okay, they had careers in front of them. They're, they're on wheelchairs, in the wheelchair now, but they had that fantastic story of always going forward. Yeah. Do you I mean, have one that impacted you the most, though? Obviously, Hurricane Katrina. Yeah. Let me tell you, without a <laughs> doubt, I can take the entire world of my career, wrap it right into what happened here in New Orleans, and that would be probably one of the biggest things I have ever seen, all the nations and, ever and seen. And I, I think for all of us who are here then, yeah. it is the, the, the turning point in our lives. Right. And, so and Brian, keep, you tell such good stories, yeah. why did you stay behind the camera the whole time? <laughs> I, I, well, I, I hate to say this, but you know, from the point of view of TV, you last longer. Well. <laughs> the other point is... Well, you, so I'm, far I've lasted <laughs> a <laughs> the, the other point is, you know, as photographers and as people in this field, we're all painters, but we can't paint. So I paint my canvas as a camera. Yeah. And I use that camera to try to paint something. And Keith, I'll, I'll ask you as, as, a, as a news director, you've seen a lot of photographers come and go. Mm -hmm. What do you think makes Brian so special? Well, I got to tell you, um, and first of all, I do want to I do want to take just a second to thank Brian for just an extraordinary career and for helping elevate photography here at WWL. Because when he walked in the door, we looked better almost instantly and we have just kept getting better and what has always impressed me about Brian and look I started here when we were still using film you were yes. you kind of did yes. all right so this man has stayed current with all forms of technology he I mean I, I we both watched a lot of guys kind of wash out yeah. you know they couldn't make the transition from film to videotape and then they couldn't make the transition from to digital to mm -hmm. digital right Brian not only kept up with it, embraced that technology, and made his stuff look better with every advancement and technology. And I gotta tell you, you know, I've now 40 plus years in the business, and you know, I have a tough time keeping up with, with everything. And but Brian well, is always in. It's been impressive. He was teaching stuff to the MMJs and yeah. to, the, to the newbies like me, and it's something that I will always well, treasure and appreciate. I, I know so many of us appreciate. Exactly, it. and I think that's one of the benefits that I have is that I can transfer my knowledge. And you the, did that. The good part well. about it is that we started off in film, and as Keith said, technology went on in advance. But you know, it's never been about the technology, and I say this all the time: you can learn technology. It's the story. It's the story mm -hmm. that matters, and how you tell the story, how you edit the story, how you film the story, and how you treat people. Well, and you also think about yes. the days of film when things were so rudimentary, and, yes. and we could not do the kinds of things we do now because the technology has advanced us to where we can tell a story so much better now than we did in those yes. days. And the other thing is, and I like to say this, is that I can make a lot of mistakes and cover it up with digital, but <laughs> on the air, Okay, it looks good because I had the opportunity and I learned how to basically make the story look good. And that's, and most importantly, I try to be fair in everything I do. I think it's yeah. very important to be fair in the visual presentation. Besides making it pretty, yeah. it has to be relevant. 
Yeah. yeah. And, 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 you know, we're talking about your career, but, but you also have your family here today. Beautiful family. Yeah. Um, you know, and you have a beautiful family. You have your trophy wife, <laughs> your daughter, your son-in-law, and your three grandkids. All right. Uh, and I also have a son and daughter-in-law and two grandchildren in uh, St. Petersburg. Yeah. Uh, it's been wonderful. And, you know, and I've been very fortunate because my wife has seen me go away on many assignments. To some and very lovely places, <laughs> I might add. <laughs> right. uh, Vacations. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, she saw me go to, away to Beirut. She saw me go away to Colombia. She saw me go away to South America. She saw me go away to uh, various parts over, overseas, but she was concerned. Yeah, and uh, rightfully so, because you yeah. were in war zones, and yeah. one of those places you went was with the legendary Phil Johnson. Yep. My friend Phil Johnson, and I said this earlier to you all, <laughs> we were in a doggone war zone, and we were editing, Garland Robinette and I were at, uh, in Angela Hill were editing. Phil walks away. He walks away for 10 minutes. He comes back with a, with a pizza. And I'm uh, thinking to myself, there's only one person I know that could go in a war zone <laughs> and get a pizza, and it would be Phil. And you know what? It was a doggone good pizza. And, and a lot of people <laughs> don't realize this about Phil Johnson. He was a, a wonderful writer, a great news director. Uh, he was a foodie. He was a gourmet. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> yes. Right. No yeah. doubt about that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Brian, now, was this, this before or after the firefight? Because you guys were caught in uh, a crossfire. I, I think it was <laughs> after because the way we thought about it, if we can survive the, survive the firefight, we can survive the pizza. And that's what we did, you know. So. I didn't just, Mary knew about the firefight, right? I didn't just blow that for no, you. No, no, no. She called the, our news director. At Phil the used the uh, pizza as a negotiating thing. Right. With right. Um, Brian, is there any sort of advice that you can give to other journalists or aspiring photographers? What would you tell them? Uh, I'd be, number one, be prepared. When you get up in the morning, be prepared for everything you do during the day. And honestly, treat every story with the same respect that you would want them to treat you. And the bottom line is always make your deadline. Yeah. <laughs> always make your deadline. Uh, I'll and second again, that. And, and, <laughs> and you and I have talked about this for, for many years, about the changes we've seen in the business. Some for the good, some for the not. Yeah, yeah. I, I think the problem sometimes is that we, have, we can get things on the air quick, so we have to kind of check ourselves and make sure that, hey, what we have uh, is it true or not? You know, we have to watch out what's being fed to us in a lot of cases. Well, and, and that's the truth, yeah. I, I, you know, because sometimes, sometimes people these days think facts are opinion and opinions are fact, and, right. and that's become a problem. Yes, uh -huh. yes. The bottom line, it's been a fantastic educational opportunity to be a photojournalist, especially here at WWL-TV, with all the great people. And I think I've never met so many nice people in my entire life ex here at WWL and in New Orleans. Well, I well you're that. one That's of them, Brian. Right. You're absolutely one thank of them. I, I wish it. we had more time, but we are out of time. We want to thank Brian for all you've done. Keith, thank thanks you. for coming in. No, it's yeah. always always good to be with you, Bubba. Don't like you on the set. It kind of scares me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'll do it for us. Have a great now weekend, everybody. you know how everybody. I feel. <laughs>